Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about Kirchhoff's two laws. Now Kirchhoff isn't directly on the spec at all. However, understanding it is really important to analysing circuits. Now, Kirchhoff had two laws. The first one here, this is Kirchhoff's current law. So this is the first law, which is the current law. And it says that the current going into a point equals the current going out of a point. So the current into a node equals the current leaving. So in this case, 10 amps is going into this node, 4 amps is going this way, which means coming out here must be 10, take away 4, which is 6 amps. And this kind of thinking, this Kirchhoff's first law, is really useful for parallel circuits. Kirchhoff's second law, so this is the second law, also known as the voltage law, states in one loop, or in one loop, one, point, one flow of electrons going from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. So in one loop, potential difference from the input must equal the output. And what I mean by that is that this is my input, this is my cell, and this is giving me 10 volts. In one loop around, 10 volts must be given to my output. This is 10, this is 4 volts. So here, we'd have 10 minus 4 which is 6 volts. So there's 6 volts across this resistor here. And this means I can actually use Ohm's law, which I've covered in a recent video, which is R is V over I, or V equals I, R, as it's more commonly people talk about, but this one is Ohm's law up here. This is just a rearrangement of it. I can work out the resistance of these resistors because I know the voltage on them and I know the current going through them. Because this is a series circuit, there is no node for my current to split up. So we're going to call this one A and I'm going to call this one B. A has 6 volts and 5 amps going through it. So R is 6 divided by 5. So 6 divided by 5, which is 1.2 ohms. And B is 4 equals 5 times the resistance. So 4 divided by 5 equals the resistance, which is 0.8 ohms. So what I've used here is Kirchhoff's voltage law to find the voltage across the, on each of the resistors. And then I found out the individual resistance of the resistors. An important thing to note, and it's a mistake that's commonly come up, is that students feel that each one of these should get the same voltage. They don't. Kirchhoff's voltage law states, as the electron goes round, or as the charged particle goes round, it must come back to the cell with no potential left. So it must have lost its potential on its loop. So here it loses 6 volts worth of potential, 
in here it will lose four volts worth of potential meaning it comes back to the cell with zero potential and that is Kirchhoff's two laws